Hmm. Textbooks? Check. Test papers? All marked? Hmm. What else was there to do today? Oh, a visitor. Come on in. The door should be open. Hello. Can I help you with anything? You don't look like one of my students. Are you lost? If so, I can help you to find the right classroom or staff member. I'm friends with all of my fellow staff. Could you perhaps speak up? I can't help you if I don't know what you need. Why don't you come in? You don't need to be hiding behind the door. <laughs> uh huh? What's this? A letter from Shinobu? Dear Rengoku, this is your new... Uh, assistant? Oh shoot, is it already Wednesday? I forgot you were coming today. I apologize. I completely forgot that you were starting today. I must have been super focused on my class and preparing their work for tomorrow. I will admit, this situation has made me quite embarrassed. I don't usually forget such important things, especially when I'm getting another co-worker. I once again apologize. I will make sure it doesn't happen in the future. Now then, I am Kyojuro Rengoku, and I'm very happy to meet you. If I can be completely honest with you here, it's a relief to have you join me. My class can get really out of hand at times, but I'm sure they're just as passionate about history as I am. Hmm. You're a very quiet person, aren't you? You've barely said anything since you got here. Maybe it's because we just met, uh, but I'm sure we'll warm up to each other in no time. There's nothing to be nervous about here. I can assure you, this is a safe work environment. And I'm certain that you won't only fit in with the students, but the faculty as well. I'm sure everyone will want to talk to you and get to know you more. Everyone here is so friendly. And I'm sure they'll all be more than happy to speak with you. You seem like a kind and gentle person. Oh, you flinched. Am I possibly talking too loud and startling you? Hmm. You're also avoiding eye contact with me. Is it possibly related to why you haven't spoken much? If it makes you feel more comfortable, I can speak quieter. Is this better? <laughs> Wonderful. Now, shall we discuss class times and what I'm currently teaching? Come sit with me, and we can go over everything together. Now, I believe I was discussing the Taisho and early Showa period, specifically the Great Kanto Earthquake in 1923. Are you familiar with the event? I see. You seem to know the basic knowledge of the topic. But nothing we can't discuss together. I'm not opposed to a one-on-one -on -one history lesson with someone so cute. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Don't worry. For now, why don't we talk more about you? I would like to get to know who I shall be working with from now on. Like, how confident are you feeling about working here? 
or what your favorite time in history is. Hmm. You're shifting a lot in your seat. Is it too uncomfortable for you? I'm staring? And that's making you uncomfortable? Uh, I'm so sorry. I was just a little lost in thought while I was looking into your eyes. <clears throat> sorry. That was probably a very unprofessional comment. And I probably shouldn't have said that. Just forget about it, please. If we are to work together, we have to remain professional. This is a new colleague, Kyojuro, not a date. Stick to the task at hand. <clears throat> anyway, why don't we... Are you giggling? Ah, you heard all that then. My apologies. I was simply talking to myself. I'm not quite used to sharing a classroom space with others outside of a class period. Especially not with someone as gorgeous as yourself. Ah, I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> You look a little flushed. Are you feeling all right? If you feel sick, your first day could have been delayed. We all would have understood if that was the case. You're blushing? Because of me. I guess I'm a little nervous myself. It's not every day someone walks into your classroom with captivating eyes and a Perfect. No, no. That is definitely inappropriate for the workplace. I shall not finish that sentence. Uh, I just can't stop messing up today, can I? I'm sorry. I'm not usually like this. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Usually I'm more confident. But today, I seem to be making a fool of myself. I'll have to get this sorted before our first class today. Wouldn't want to be fumbling over my words in front of the students. You're worried about the same thing? That's only natural. It is your first day. I'm sure the students wouldn't mind. <laughs> in fact, I'm sure they would appreciate having a quieter personality in the classroom from now on. I can get quite loud and obnoxious sometimes, even in class. But it seems your enthusiasm for the subject is more on the silent side of things. Which is good. It'll be nice having you around to mellow out my personality a bit. <laughs> well, would you look at that? <sighs> we'll pick this conversation back up after class. The students will be arriving any moment. I can already hear them running down the halls. Don't seem so nervous. They're good kids. They don't bite. Well, except maybe Hashibira. <laughs> Just try to relax. And be yourself. I'm sure they're going to love having you around. I know I already do. And... Maybe... We can go get coffee together at the end of the day. But... T to get to know each other more, of course. And, of course, my treat. Now. Deep breath and a big smile. 
If you need fresh air at any point during the class, just give me a tap on the shoulder. I'll get it. Ah. <sighs> so, now that all of our students are gone, I have to ask, how did you find your first lesson? I know I can be a little hard to work with sometimes, but I think you did great! It's just like I told you. The students all adored you, and you were a joy to have in the classroom. I'm glad you found the time to come to me when you needed a breather. You looked pretty stressed out for quite a while before that. Whatever it was that you did to calm down, you'll have to teach me sometime. I find it hard to regulate my emotions sometimes, and you did great with it. Me? Distracted? It is hard to teach when I have you wandering the classroom, helping the students. It was like a breath of fresh air to hear you running through some of the harder notes and questions with everyone. Have you ever been told how sweet your voice sounds? Staring? Me? <laughs> All right. You've caught me. I've never really spent so much time with someone who captivates my attention like you do. Especially someone who is so different to myself. The way your eyes light up when you happily explain some obscure fact. I honestly thought we would have to run through the subject more together. But you're just as knowledgeable and passionate as I am. So why do you downplay it? When you first arrived, you made it seem like you only knew the basics of what we were covering. Nothing more than surface-level stuff. But after watching you today, it's clear to me that you may know more about this than I do. You know that coffee I mentioned earlier? Yeah. Well, I think you definitely deserve that now. We don't have another lesson for the next hour or so. So why don't I take you out to the cafe down the street to celebrate such an amazing first class? They make an absolutely amazing chocolate lava cake, and their cookies are incredibly tasty, if any of that is your fancy. Plus, the baristas all love me, and they've been trying to set me up with a few people for a while now. Other baristas or workers, different customers. <laughs> it's not like I don't mind the attention. But maybe they'll take it easy on me if you come in with me. So, is that a yes? You'll come out with me? All right. Thank you. Come on now. It's my treat. I could never let someone as stunning as you pay. If we get going now, we'll make it back in time to go over the lesson plan for the next class. 